These fallout shelters are the bomb. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. I don't want to alarm you, but at any moment, the world could come to an abrupt end. You could just be sitting there, enjoying your favorite cereal, uh, enjoying your favorite morning talk show, Good Mythical Morning, and then all of a sudden, a 50 kiloton nuclear bomb, or nuclear bomb, if that's how you say it, could explode, decimating everything within a two mile radius, and then if you don't happen to be within that two mile radius, and your breakfast cereal is still intact, well, you're probably gonna be killed by the fallout, the radiation within the 100 mile radius. Uh, but don't don't be worried. Everything's gonna be okay, right, Link? Well, I'm, I'm actually a little bit worried, but when everything falls out, all you got to do is fall into a fallout shelter, yes! and we've got some mind-blowing options to present to you of where you can fall out with us. Yes. Together. Starting with, very specifically, 3970 Spencer Street in Las Vegas. Okay. Come join us there. Look, it's just a house. Yeah, it's just an ordinary uh, suburban home. No, it's not. Once you go inside, there is an entire other home underneath it. And not just a home. This is a 15,000 square foot basement that has a two bedroom home surrounded by an underground yard with grass and trees, a four hole putting green, a swimming pool, two jacuzzis. Whoa, 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 Two jacuzzis, whoa, 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 whoa. not one, count them, two jacuzzis. A sauna, a dance floor with a small stage. Can anybody spell karaoke? So hold on, this is like a, it's like a sound stage. Yeah, I hope it is. You walk out of the house and you can see, you see like painted murals of a of like a yeah. skyline. They have little painted animals and trees and stuff too, owls and stuff. And uh, there's a grill and a rock. No, there is a barbecue grill disguised as a rock. So while everyone is up on the surface burning to death, you could be like burning a chicken for yourself. That is so great. That's grilling a chicken. <laughs> that's that's pretty cool. Okay, now. One thing you're gonna have to live with though is the 70s decor because this thing was built back in the day by a guy named uh, Jerry Henderson of Underground World Home Corporation because his big idea was that he wanted to do a bunch of these and this was like a prototype home to kind of sell people on the idea. It okay. didn't really catch on because the Cold War, uh, you know, the nuclear threat Fizzled seemed to kind of like back off a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, but somebody did have this thing. It went under foreclosure in 2013. It was up for sale, 1.7 million bucks, which is a great deal. Two houses for the price of one. Uh, but unfortunately, you can't buy it because somebody called the Society for the Preservation of Near Extinct Species, not making that up, bought the house in 2014. So apparently there's like black rhinos like walking around that grill. <laughs> Near extinct species, well that's they, us when the fallout hits. Yeah, exactly. They love fake grass. Huh, okay, so we can't get in on that one. But what if you want to take 499 of your friends oh, into a yeah. fallout shelter? Party. Well then you're coming with me uh, to a place near Toronto called the Ark 2 Shelter, as in the sequel to Noah's Ark, oh. built by Bruce Beach, uh, began in the early 1980s. Now, uh, the wiki claims, unsighted, that it is the largest private fallout shelter in the world, I'm talking 10,000 square foot. Um, but look, foot? feet. Oh, there's multiple ones. Um, check out this aerial photo. Now this looks like a school bus parking lot, right? Wrong. What he did was he dug a huge hole and he parked 42 school buses in what? the hole that close. Then he poured concrete all over all of it and then buried the concrete encased school buses in 14 feet of dirt. So it kind of is a school bus parking lot. I mean, it, underground. It, it, it is that, it, but it, it is also something else. Yeah, every every room is a, is a school bus. It's powered by diesel generators. It's got two commercial kitchens, a private well, a motel sized septic tank to house, well, you know Man. what. Uh, it's got radio communication center, a chapel, and this dental room. Which, wow, that looks like a great place to get worked on. The stains on the and, floor are a nice touch. Yeah, it looks like there's been some work but the, been done there already. The most exciting part of this fallout shelter is not the size of the school buses, but it's the guy who made it all, Bruce Beach, who I mentioned. He is a longtime doomsday prepper, uh, but he's also a former professor of computer science, and he sells radiation detectors on his website, radmetersforyou.com. Oh yeah, I got it bookmarked. I highly recommend going to this text mm. uh, covered site. It's <laughs> okay. amazing. Uh, his bio on the site says, 
I have no musical or sports talents, but was once, upon a time, an exceptional speed reader, reading as many as five books a Whoa, day. Oh, that's real fast. You get to hang out with Bruce Beats, former speed reader. It's like a walking in encyclopedia. Buses. He also. It's like a bus driver with a lot of knowledge. Yeah, man. He, But the buses don't drive anywhere. Right. You're, but you're always get... in a school bus. Right. You can't get uh, out of a school bus. Listen, the Beach Boy gives Fallout <laughs> survival advice on his YouTube channel, oh, Bruce Beach great. Arc 2. I want to show you a clip. Um, this is him talking about what they're going to do after the fallout when they encounter radiation victims, okay? Okay. I'm a radiological scientific officer, and this is our nuclear survival complex. This is my dog. If the radiation is not too intense, okay, say like 10 R per hour. Yeah, that's, that's not too cool. bad. We would send out men to man the barricades men. on the road leading to Arc 2. You okay. can follow along the dialogue. You can follow along the dialogue. Hi, folks. Where are you from? About 20 miles south. Is that the dog talking? Been walking along? It's a refugee. For the last two days, can we get into the shelter? Shelter? Sorry. It is full, so you will have to continue on. They are the walking dead. Ooh. Whoa! Bruce Beach is cold! Life's a beach, man. Apparently he thinks that people are going to start talking like it's 1828. <laughs> no, we, well, we've been walking for two days. But, so you can't get in after you're radiated. But you want to get in before you're radiated so you can hang out with the beach stir. Well, yeah, can I say that that guy and his dog look like good company. Oh, so yeah. I'm sold already. I, I want to be a part of this and I love buses. He also has a patent for a chess teaching machine. You can learn chess down there. I need that. Here's the only problem. He's not going to let you in unless you're a kid. He only wants kids to come into this thing. He says, well, we have room for your children, but we don't have room for you. That's the nature of life. This is the lifeboat. Line Whoa. up, kids. Okay, I'm signing my children up right now, Bruce. <laughs> what? Yeah. That seems a little weird. Okay, if it's you, an option. If you don't like school buses and you want a little bit more luxury in your Fallout experience, maybe uh, you can sign up to be a part of a Vivos Underground Survival Shelter. Now, these guys specialize in luxury shelters. This is not a school bus, my friend. This is amazing. Now, these are 3D renderings of uh, one of the ones that's being built right now. Mm, Fallout Resort. They actually have one that's already been built in Indiana that has about 80 spots, but most of them are filled. But you can still get in on Vivos Europa One. This is a $1.1 billion shelter. This is basically like a cruise ship in the in a mountain in Germany. 227,000 wow. square feet of secure, blast-proof living areas, big enough for 34 high net worth families to inhabit for a full year. 227,000 square feet for 34 families. Those net, high net worth families, they take up all, they need, expect tennis courts oh. and other things. They're very, they need a lot of space. <laughs> high maintenance, man. Now, you look at these pictures and you begin to want the world to end. You begin to want everyone else to die so you can live in this mountain and enjoy this amazing swimming pool and you've got like an aquarium outside of your bedroom. This is absolutely amazing. Now, there's also wow. a person behind this, Link. It's not Bruce, mm -mm. it's Robert. Robert Vecino, he's a 6'8", 300 pound man. I'm gonna explain why I told you how big he is in a second. Uh, he's like from a San Diego, he's a businessman, and he wants to save humanity. He is behind these Vivo shelters. At least now, the rich portion. A once upon a time, a psychic told him that, quote, he was sent to Earth from a planet of giant superior beings dedicated to saving the human race, and that's why he needed such a large frame. Oh. If you didn't notice, I'm a pretty big man myself. Haven't been to a psychic, but I like to think that I'm also here to help save you, Link, and the crew. You gotta have a big frame to save the human I could race. Put, I could pack 300 pounds on here real easy. Real easy, you wouldn't believe it. Uh, now, he also believes that there's a possibility that alien reptilians are impersonating the British royal family and that a secret wrecking ball called Planet X is hurtling towards us from space. Which, um, if you believe that, uh, then being in one of these shelters is probably a great place So the you. shelter can withstand the impact of Planet, Planet X? X. Oh, I hope it will. I mean, why would he be selling it if it's not gonna withstand Planet X? Now, you might be saying, of course, of course you're saying, how do I get in this thing? Oh, yeah. Uh, first of all, you don't have to just be a child. He's not just into the kids. He's, okay. he's, 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 he's into everyone. <laughs> okay, cool. Everyone can come be a part of this. It's gonna cost you 
tens of thousands of dollars to secure a spot. Again, you got to be a high net worth individual. Sure. Or you can have a very special skill, like that he let surgeons in and people with like military training. Internet and that kind of thing. You get discounts. And they're, surely they need some entertainment. Surely yes, they need yes, it. Yes. And I do have a big frame, so I'm also from the same planet. Now, but you don't have to have a big frame. You don't have to be a child, and you don't have to have a lot of money. All you gotta have is 30 bucks to get in on this. Now let me expand on that. There's like a cheap hotel right outside of it. <laughs> you, he sends you a kit, you spit in the kit. You send your DNA to live with Robert and the other people, the high net worth individuals, uh. and one of these days, of course, they're gonna figure out how to make people from DNA, uh. and you will be resurrected and can live on a beautiful planet with these people. I don't know, man, I think that lizard lover's licking up our saliva. <laughs> <laughs> he's drinking that stuff, man. He's like putting it in his protein shakes? Yeah, he's like he's like bringing his friends down, and he's like, hey, come over here. I look got at, some new spit. Look at this vowel. Somebody just sent me this vowel. Well, you know what? I like. I'm going with the beach, man. Okay. I'm 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 going to the you beach. You go to the beach. I'm gonna go with Planet X, man, and then we'll meet in the future. Let us know where you're going in the comments. Thanks for liking, subscribing, and sharing this video with your loved ones. You know what time it is. I'm Hannah. I'm Kelsey. I'm Kyle. And I'm Isabel. And we're on the high roller at the lake in Las Vegas, Nevada. And, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. The good mythical morning hoodie doesn't have a lead lining in the hood to protect you from radiation, but I'm sure that it accepts one if you go get one it somewhere. It accepts one. And you can get one of these at rentlink.com slash store. Store, click through to Good Mythical More. Our friend Andrew Huang is gonna come in. We're gonna make some music together. Diapers are in style. So. Did you hear? About diapers? Diapers? Yes, I did. They're They're everybody's style. wearing them. I don't. I don't have any right here. Oh, you're not wearing but one? I'm gonna get well, some. Well, look at, hey. Look at, look at, look at that, look at that. Well, this one's dirty, but. Oh, wow. But, I mean, it was not at one time, but now I don't even go to the bathroom. That's, that's why they're so in style. Yeah, you haven't, asked me why it smelled. Whoops.